okay so clavicle PSR and we see we need to add a clavicle here So you can see now there's a problem coming here that our shoulder has a rotation here. So we need to cancel this rotation. So we bring, um, keep our shoulder isolated. Make this zero. And then link it back to position. Freeze on. So link it back, I'll put the shoulder, shoulder to clavicle, everything will work fine. Similarly shoulder to shoulder, elbow to elbow, wrist to, this is hand, yeah, and put it hand, so everything is working. accidentally delete all these controllers so let's bring them back constraint constraint PSR this is neck to neck and head to head okay so everything is else is fine make sure it's working it's working so now we need to create PSR for other things like fingers so we'll just switch on the bones we try to do it in a smart way like to fast shift and click Control and click will open all of them. So we just need to select all of them like this. Constraint, all of them applied. PSR, all of them. Now be careful of applying the controllers. Okay, for example, this is left hand. 
So here comes this one. Mid finger one, two, three. Uh, three, we need to put controller, which we don't have this one. Places. So we need to move it here, freeze all and then put 3. So we go to the mid finger. So now we need to check the other one, which is index. And index 1. and no need for 4 why is put 4 here and also here no need similarly for the thumb thumb 0 1 thumb 0 2 And do it moves it I don't know why Okay, one second thumb is giving issue so let's find out the issue which is I think because we rotate it some bit yeah freeze all freeze all so try now thumb two okay still Okay, so now let's do the thumb. Select the thumb, one, two, and put two, three, with three, and four, with four. And let's see how everything is working now. Before we proceed just make sure every controller here is set to freeze. Oh because if you move accidentally this one we just press zero 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 it comes back to its original position. Okay, now I was thinking this is looking wrong because there needs to be added an additional bone here. Or we just disconnect this one. How we can disconnect is come to our lower spine, go down to the 
and and then see and just crop this one so now if we move this one ah no not this way because sell the child so we have to bring this out of this yes like this this is the right way okay still why it is happening because this controller thumb controller is under this wrist controller now if we move this one it moves and we can undo that action actually so this thumb even if it is under now raised it's fine because when it moves oh, I think keep it outside it's better so when it moves doesn't move anything else it's more better this way for example you move this one moves and then you move this one which is this controller if I can select this one yeah so but uh, I think we make a bit a bit of a mistake yeah we move this accidentally I don't know we move it now or we move it before Okay, now we just come here and mirror our we select left clavicle and the controllers we select left clavicle to character joints character mirror to and press mirror so it perfectly get aligned with everything else and also the naming is proper so our basic rig structure is done now we need to move to the second part which is actually called skinning make sure you change these controllers to do of them so basic structure is done so we'll do the skinning tomorrow until then bye bye okay in the last we need to create this uh, center of gravity of the controller which will actually uh, move all the body together and for that I have this controller which is somehow look like this I will not show you how you created it because it's very simple and straightforward you can create it on your own 
and it's not specific you created this shape i just have this shape already prepared in my library that's why i'm using this one so what we'll do now is just to come to the layers and we come to our layers and hide our mesh and select the controller and link is snap it to this one bring back our mesh and uh, just extrude it extrude the inner parts a little bit more okay and for the sake of clarity we just select all the points select all the points and move it and we select all the points switch off snapping and move them a little bit down or above and make it a little bit big okay so and we call it cog which is center of gravity and we move it in the controllers and now this is the controller which control everything below uh, above it so everything above it so what we'll do is we need to put this hip controller which is outside okay go under the cog center of gravity lower spine under the center of gravity okay so now you can see that we have this controller we have this controller in this character I didn't I will not create the IK system for the uh, for the hands because we don't need it so now our rig is uh, somehow complete and in the next phase we will skinning it